Hello everyone, it's the Up Farm team over here, and today we're going to show you guys how you can use Qualtrics XM to make surveys. But for this video specifically, we're going to show you guys how to create your free account. So, first things first, as you can see, we're just currently on the Qualtrics Create Your Free Account page. This you can access using a specific URL, or just so you guys know how to navigate it better, let's head back to the main Qualtrics homepage. Then from here, all you gotta do is hit the free account. So that's how we navigate it over here. Now let's get started into using our Qualtrics create a free account page. So in this case, you're gonna have to first choose how you will be using it. In this case, we're gonna choose business. Then you're gonna wanna type in your email before hitting create account. Once you've already input the information and hit the create a free account you'll then be asked to verify your email address and to do this you have to go directly to your email and then access the email that they sent over with a link to open the Qualtrics with a verif verification. So this right here is just the verify your email address sent by Qualtrics and from here all you gotta do is hit the link down here which will then bring you to this account setup page. So in order to use this, you're going to first want to put in all the necessary information, create a password, choose your country. In this case, we're going to type it out to the United States. You're going to have to type your organization, your job title. Then you're going to have to specify what kind of feedback you will be gathering. So in this case, we're going to be gathering customer or client information, and then you're going to want to throw in your phone number. Now they need your phone number in order to verify your account, so just be sure you type that in. And once you have everything filled in, you can just hit the continue button. So here I've just hit the continue button and now we're brought to this new page where you can start customizing your Qualtrics experience. So to get started, they give you multiple options, one of which includes upgrading your account. In this case, we're just going to explore Qualtrics so that you guys can get a better idea of how the homepage and the navigation works. So we'll just hit this, press continue. And here we're brought to the main homepage for your specific account, where you can then start seeing how you can create free surveys, how you can start using templates if you need it. On the left, you'll see also that your templates or your survey can also be categorized according to what you're measuring, your department, your use case, the XM category, or what's included inside. In this case, it's also a type, but we just have project right now. So this is how you'll be navigating most of your creating a project. In the event that you want to upgrade your plan, it's right over here if you click on your profile up here. You'll see that you have account settings, upgrade plan, and refresh account. Upgrade plan is where you can basically pay to get the full benefits of using Qualtrics XM. Beside it, you're going to see that there's a notifications bar. So if you click it, all your notifications from either Qualtrics or your survey, so if anyone answers anything, it should pop up right here if you're enabling notifications. If you need further help, there's also a help button right here where you can get some sort of support from XM specifically, especially when it comes to specific instructions on how to do things. You can also see some sample projects and maybe just to give you guys a better idea of how your Qualtrics surveys will look like, let's just take a look at these to get started. So let's just say the sample project. We're going to create this project. skip the tour. So this is what your survey is going to look like if you were to use one of those pre-made topics or templates. As you can see, each question is already separated by page break. All your editable options are on the left side to edit the question further. If you were to select the text, you can immediately start changing the text box within. You can also mess around with the survey flow. So as you can see, we have certain blocks where everything is separated. This is how it'll the look and feel if you want to change the theme or the aesthetics. 
You also have survey options where you can kind of mess around with certain settings of your survey. And finally, the translations in case you will be working with more than one singular language. And that's all we have in regards to creating a free account for Qualtrics. I mean, just the basics of navigating your homepage. Hopefully this helps you better use your XM Qualtrics surveys or basically help with any sort of data collection that you're doing. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you need any more help when it comes to any similar platform for data collection, be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.